Hi, it's Heather with a new installment of Already Reviews, and I got home from work at a reasonable hour today because it was cold and rainy, and I couldn't paint like that, and I got cold, so I'll take this off in a little while. I love my robe. Um, one of the subscribers had asked, after the rust video, had said if I, next time I do it like a woodworking project where I'm sanding, she wants to learn how to sand wood. Now, I have some sanding to do. It's not wood, but I figured I may as well show you a sanding of a different kind, different nature. And I can't find my fucking tripod. I thought I took it to work. I don't, I, I don't know where it is. So I'm back to using this Ryobi, the useless Ryobi tripod light is like, it doesn't, it's, it's terrible for lighting, but I have my phone rubber banded to it again. So maybe, maybe it'll just be a really expensive phone stand. At least it won't go over when the wind blows. So I don't know which, how many of you saw my little snippet video from last night where um, I made my hallway look like Swiss cheese at like midnight, uh, like it's like 11 o'clock. So, and I can't believe there's an echo in here because I took all the, all the paintings down and somebody bought my fucking runner, my turquoise runner. Someone bought the runner. So it kind of echoes in here. So there was a little scurrying and scuffling going on in my walls last night. And um, I don't like that. And when I tried to um, to get TJ, who had just gone to bed, to handle it, his response was just hit it. <laughs> like smack, smack the wall or hit it or something. And so I hit it all right. I took my pellet gun and made Swiss cheese out of my fucking hallway wall. I don't even know if I killed the thing or not. I didn't want it suffering. So if I heard it scurrying in there, I just listened for the sound. I mean, I'm shooting blindly at it. And a lot of the pellets didn't even go through the drywall. So, but every time I was shooting, he was getting pissed. I'm like, well, then do, I don't even want, he doesn't care about the wall. He was very upset this morning that I disturbed his sleep. Sloth needs like 10, 11 hours. And so he was cranky today. And in fact, I sent him, it's like, oh, what time is he leaving work? It's 4.57. Oh my, it's almost five. Can you stop at Home Depot and pick up my order, please? They're going to put it back if I don't get it today. So I bought myself like 20 minutes of time before he comes walking in. So I'm going to try to turn this around and see if I can show you what I did. Because the video that I did last night does not do any justice to what I did to this wall. Um, simply because this thing... Now, if I'm going to kill something, I'm not going to have it suffer. So if I hit it, I wanted to make sure it was dead and it was still, it was not, not only was it not dead, it was still chewing on whatever it wanted to chew. It was making a nest in there and I was not having it. So by the time I got done shooting, I don't know if you can see how many holes there are. Oh, you know what? Okay. The Ryobi tripod light also lowers. So I, um, I shot a few pellets and I had to make sure I remember that we don't have a basement, so I know the electric wasn't coming up from the basement. I know it comes down, so I didn't want to hit wires. Uh, additionally, when I bought this big, huge furniture in the living room, I got this beautiful Bernhardt furniture, which is like, I don't know. I have no idea what it costs, but when I looked it up, it was like, it's like $3,000 living room set that somebody sold on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. I didn't even need it, and I was like, I'm not passing that up. So when I bought it, we already had living room furniture. So I wanted to put it in my daughter's room after she moved out so I could have a den, so I could have some fucking space. And it's very big furniture. And TJ wouldn't help me put it in there. He's like, it won't fit. I'm like, fuck, it won't fit. It'll fit. Anywho, I cut a hole in the, let me get this out of the way. I'll try to keep, I'll try to make a long story short. He went to bed one night. I'm going to show you the, the distance from, this is my, this was my daughter's room. It's my sewing room now. It's, it's also the chicken room. So this, this is where, this is the room I wanted to make a den. And then three feet, four or five feet is the bedroom. And he wouldn't help me. Oops. He wouldn't help me put the furniture in there. So when he went to bed, I did it. Now the hallway is, three feet wide, but like 18 feet long. I think it's 25 feet long. No, the, the runner was 18. It's 25 feet long. I just slide the furniture down here and then it wouldn't fit through the door. So with him sleeping like six feet away, 
I slowly closed the door. I used my, my putty knife and managed to take off all the molding, which is why it looks a little beat up, all the door trim, the fucking door. I had to get the, the pins out up here. Oops. I had to get the pins out and take the door off. I take the entire other side off. This, that's why that's broken up there. And I had to do it without making a sound. He didn't wake up. At one point, the furniture was stuck in the hallway and I was trying to spin it. And I'm like, if he comes out here right now, all I'm going to just, I'm just going to look up and just, I'm just going to look up and say, pivot. And then hopefully he would just fucking laugh. I got the love seat into the room. I got the couch like stuck. The couch was in the hallway for like two days. We had to climb over it to go to the bathroom, to go to the kitchen, to go to the bedroom. So he's like, he was surprised that I got the love seat in there. Once I did that, he was willing to help me bring the couch down. When we got down here, I thought that the best thing I could do would be to stand it up, spin it, and then get it through the door. We just needed because the arms spread out, like they roll out. I just needed a few more inches. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, teacher, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a hole in the ceiling. And he's like, come on, Heather. I'm like, I'll fix it. We still needed like a half an inch. We, anyway, needless to say, too late for the long story short. The living room furniture, had, I'm gonna take it all back out, put my furniture in the shed, and put that living room set in the living room. I mean, look at the size of this. I got this in there. I couldn't get that one in there. Now, mind you, the furniture is so big. We need to take the front door off. <laughs> so, and I was this fucking close to get it in there. So because I have to fix this, I have to fix all those little Swiss cheese holes in the wall and I'm leaving. I'm moving. I had always promised him that I was going to fix the hole in the ceiling and I kept all the pieces. So I'm going to show you how to reinstall these pieces, how to mud and sand. And I'm pretty sure I keep all the house paint in here. And this might be a useful tip for you. Actually, I'm not that cold anymore. What's in my pocket? Oh, that's it. So, I keep all the paint that's left over in the house, instead of in cans, I keep it in Rubbermaid containers. And I have them all labeled with not just the name, this one says uh, Bear Premium Plus Bali Bliss 12362050367. So if they change the name or they discontinue it, I have all the info and I have the dates on it. I just shake it up. I can touch up the paint in the house at any time, which I tend to do every few months. Once I'm done mudding, I'm going to have to sand it. Let me, I, I have to, I think I have to call TJ and have him get a sample of gravel tone while he's at Home Depot, or I won't be able to paint this, and there'll be mud without, there'll be drywall. I mean, uh, spackle. It sucks so bad. I call him sloth because he is so fucking slow. He moves like constipation. But I ask him to go do something, and suddenly it's like he's lightning. He's already almost home, so he can't get the paint. I'll get it tomorrow. But I don't want to do these when he's here. I don't know. He's been more fun since we're not together anymore. Maybe he'll be less douchey. But I don't have, I have every paint for the fucking house. Except the one I need. I used a drywall saw to just cut a square. And I made sure that the square was cut. I had to find a stud. I found a stud on each side, luckily. And I cut the drywall right in the middle of both studs. That way, knowing that when I wanted to put it back, I would have something to screw it to. First, I have to use my pliers to get the pellets out of the wall. So I can, I can try to save some time and explain things while I'm pulling these, these pellets out. Cause some of these pellets didn't go, they just lodged into the, in the drywall. Some of them we were stepping on bare foot this morning. So I, I used to have a lot more drywall tools. I had, I had a girl that had hired me for a job and we like kind of hit it off. But I might just push these through and we kind of hit it off. So we became like friends and it turned out like, all of a sudden I'm like doing stuff for her all the time, like work, like free work. And it was getting, like it was enough was enough. Like it was, it was bad. And it was, I'm, I'm a sucker. 
So I'm doing all this free work. And then she realizes that we have a camp on Sylvan Beach. And then she's like, oh, I'd love to come to camp. So then I look at him taking shit. I'm not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm on my work, my, my, I'm on my, my canvas. So she wants to come to camp and she brings her husband. He's nice. He, he, he makes friends with TJ. TJ made a fucking friend. They're golfing every weekend. So her and her husband start coming to camp like every week, every weekend. We don't even go to camp every weekend. I was getting calls like, oh, you go to camp this weekend? And I was like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna. So like every week, and I'm like waiting on this woman, hands and foot, making food, serving them. Then one week she brings a grandson and I'm like entertaining this kid. I'm like, now we have a cabin, a little tiny cabin. And then TJ has um, like a tow behind camper trailer. They're staying in the, in the camper. And they're running the fucking air conditioning with the doors and windows open. I'm like, and then I guess she had one of those gastric bypass surgeries. And I guess your, your stomach at that point, is like a pouch. So all I ever heard, it's time to feed the pouch. The pouch needs food. I was fucking cooking. I'm like, what in the fuck? It got, it got a little, it got a little crazy, but you know. It happens. So this woman and I, like, you know, we're kind of like, I mean, I kind of like friends. I mean, we did stuff together, but I'm, I was, oh, I was helping her move. I was helping her paint. I helped drywall, mudding, uh, putting furniture together. She's like, oh, I just need help. Meanwhile, she's inside sleeping on the couch. I'm outside getting eaten alive, like at 11 o'clock at night, putting her furniture together. So it, it got tiring. And then when I kind of started to back off from doing this stuff. She stopped talking to me. Like she hates me. But the last job I was doing for her, I was fixing, she got separated and got an apartment and her furniture wouldn't fit. So I told her the same thing here. I said, I'm, I'm busy. Um, she's calling me at work like a knot. I'm like, just have the guys do whatever they want to do. Get the furniture in there. However they want. If they scuff the walls, they dent the walls. If they crack the drawer, whatever, I'll come fix it. Don't worry about it. She's like, how they said we can do it. And she's boom, like, just, just She's like, that's my girl. That's my girl, right? So I'm working on this drywall repair, like at midnight, because I'm working 15 hours a day and I need to get it done. In the meantime, she doesn't tell me she had just moved in. She's moving out. She bought a house. And so I was supposed to help her move, but she was supposed to come over for my client appreciation barbecue and help me. And instead, the last minute she went to New York City and like, uh, I, I went, to, uh, so I was here it was just bad. So I got upset and she stopped. So she stopped talking to me and I didn't help her move. She wanted my truck and trailer, but she wanted me with my truck and trailer. So she moved with all my drywall supplies, like good shit, like the, the big pallet, all my spackle knives, all my putty knives, every size, every, you know, left corner, right corner, interior, ex all that shit. And she wouldn't give it back. And so um, what am I going to do? I was like, oh, I'll put a lien on your house. <laughs> I did nothing. My whole point is I have very few drywall tools at this point because I have not replaced all of the stuff that she still has somewhere. Like she didn't even know what they're called, let alone how to use them. So I'm going to be using the Easy Sand 20. Now, when I used to do drywall, I just get the big bucket. I don't use the bucket anymore. I don't like that stuff. You have to thin it out sometimes. It's so thick. I just, I'm not a fan of it. I'm, I'm a horrible mutter. Horrible. Let me just get that right out of the way. So this will not be a lesson on how to with mudding. I mean, I know how to do it. I'm, I'm sloppy. I'm messy. But I'm good at sanding. I'm good at the finish work. And so it'll still look beautiful when I'm done. So <laughs> don't necessarily listen to what I say or do what I do here. And I like to have the tools that I need for each job. So I'm very frustrated that I don't have my stuff. I mean, fuck, I took a drywall job. I got a drywall banjo. But half of you don't even know what that is. And someone's going to think it's fucking cool that I do. I have a drywall banjo. I have the big, massive vacuum sander with the bag with the hose attachment. I have the hand vacuums. I got all kinds of shit. That's not necessary for this. It'd be overkill. But I did find that the sanding, we're going to use one of these. 
But one of the best things that I finally reluctantly gave into, and I'm glad that I did, this is great. These are the permanent sanders because these are expensive. Um, I'm going to need the taping knife. I prefer the mesh over the paper tape, especially for something. I'm not going to need any for this, but for the ceiling, I'm going to need to mesh the seams. I don't do well with the paper tape, probably for my lack of, of talent um, and expertise in it. I like the mesh. It has a tiny bit of tack to it. And this one's pretty wide, but I already have it and I'm not going to buy more. So we're going to use that. Um, I also have these nifty mini hand sanders. This little tiny one, like if I need to get into a crack and then all the little papers that go with it. Ugh. So I don't normally mix, you know, I'm missing a spackle. Um, I wonder if she's got my mortar, the, I have the big mortar mixer. I have like three of them. I only have two now. I bet that's with that shit. Anywho, I wouldn't normally mix the spackle in the tray, but I'm using so little today. I'm not going to get a five gallon bucket and, and mix a big batch. So one thing I want to tell you, if you're going to mix your own spackle, which you don't, I recommend it, especially if you're not good at spackling. That, the bucket of the pre-mix, it's very thick. And if you thin it too much, you fuck it up. And I, people say put a, a, a drizzle of dish soap. I like the easy sand. They call it easy sand because it's fucking easy. Now, they have numbers afterwards. Just know in advance, that's the amount of time you have to work with it. And me, because I'm so fast with everything I do, I got a little overzealous and I got too big for my britches. And the first time I was mixing it, they had 45, 20, 15. Uh, that, I think they have a 90 also. I'm like, that's the slot. But I'm like, you know what? Let me get the 15. I'm not going to need it for more than 10 minutes later. That shit was hard as a rock. So I'm okay with the 20, especially for a small job like this. Look how many minutes you have before it's, it's done. It's shot. So you have to mix it in small batches, which will make it easy to mix in my, in my, my little trough. And then, um, this is the 3M sander. You just lift this up. And then the little hooks inside, you can change the paper. I'm just going to hand sand most of this. There's no reason to bring a fucking hand, a machine to sand this. I, when I was building the, the pool house at my last house, I was sending pictures to my brother. There's a, one of my brother's friends from childhood still keeps in touch with me once in a while. It's nice to hear from him. And so I was like, oh, cool. Look what I did. And I'm showing him you know, the, the, the pool house. And I was up to the part where I was drywalling and mudding. And he, he does like all this kind of stuff. And I grew up in, in an environment where, you know, sarcasm is a hug. If someone doesn't make fun of you, then you're not worth the time. And so it doesn't mean it's nice. He, I sent him this beautiful picture of this wall with all the, and he messages me back. Who did you mudding? Ray Charles. And I fucking die laughing. I'm like, oh. it was like, I don't know if it was nostalgic or if it was like, oh, Danny made fun of me. Because oh, he was like a brother to me too. And I just thought that was hilarious. So I'm just letting you know, I haven't gotten much better. I've gotten a little better. I haven't gotten much better at the mudding. I'm just much, I'm really good at the sanding part. And that's, I think the finish is what counts the most. So I think I got all these in here. I don't think I killed it. Technically, I should go get a drywall saw. <laughs> And see if there's something dead in the wall. But you know what? Fuck it. Like in a, in a week or two, I won't live here anymore. And someone's going to have to do something for himself. Now, those are all pushed in. I don't have to do anything but get the paper off and just a quick prep. I want to show you the parts down there. I'm going to use a ring. You need a utility knife. You need a couple of different um, spackle knives and uh, a taping knife. Definitely need you get your, your, your mixing bucket. And is this stuck? Oh, uh, I broke this one. Let's go get another utility knife. You need sandpaper, the tape, and um, I've got my impact driver. Just, I forgot the fucking drywall screws. Fuck. And my workshop is so far. Oh, I got it. Oh, I guarantee you I can find screws in the bucket that says empty your pockets in the laundry room because I always have screws in my pockets. I found three. Fucking dog barking. Sloth is home. I hope he doesn't make it fucking uncomfortable. You were gonna, you were gonna buy one what? For the, uh, for my bathroom, cause mine's fucked up. 
I bought two because the woman whose house I'm doing the repair in tomorrow has two sinks. I didn't buy an extra one in case I fucked no, up. No, I know, I, but I have one of those in my cart because I was looking at them. Can it's you help me? Funny. I can't. I don't know what happened to this this razor knife. I think you tell me. I can't get the fucking blade out, and I need to change it. I'm gonna slice my finger. Okay. So I'm scraping off all the little pieces of paper and tape with the drywall paper and I'm sticking it out because you don't want you don't want anything left over. It's gonna be smooth. And then, when that's done, he went to go get pliers. I, he didn't listen to me. I told him I had pliers right here. He can't get the blade on my utility knife either. Bad design on Milwaukee's part. <laughs> I'm fucking pellets all over the floor. Let me count that, Mama. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six holes. <laughs> and then I'm sure I'll come across another one. At some point. Anyone who's going to comment about me doing this wrong, I'm well aware. Okay, now that I have a nice new sharp blade in my utility knife, I want to show you the prep down there, and then I'm going to mix the mortar, the mud. So, oops. Okay, so when I cut the drywall out of the ceiling, it, it just got caught. But there's a beam here and a beam here. This excess has to come off. I may have to get a step stool. Because you need to have something to screw the piece back onto, or it's going to fall out. Yeah, this is... It's going in my fucking eyes! Did you, uh, cut a hole and get the rat out, or...? It wasn't a rat, it was a fucking mouse! Do you know if you actually hit it? I don't know! If it smells, you can cut it open. No, I don't want to cut it open. Then cut it open now. No, I was going to cut it open. I don't think we should. Well, I the thing is, just... can I... I was going to bring my drywall saw from the from the shop, and I forgot it. So the only reason why I didn't cut a little hole to look is because I feel like walking back out to the barn, and I said, well, I'm not going to live here anymore. And if it smells, he can fucking cut it open. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I might have lied. I didn't think that you would be worried about it. You can have your mother come clean it. Oh, you, she's chomping at the bit to come over here and do your fucking laundry. Uh, uh. Yeah, you're a grown ass man because you're all grossed up now. I raised you good. I raised you right. I told you I would fix it. I didn't do it right away, but I told you I would do it, so it, it will get done. I don't need any help. You go enjoy your cigar. Can I, this I don't need any help. Oh, I need I need lots of help. I just don't need any that you have, that you have to offer. <laughs> Fucking nails up here. I didn't bring a hammer. I'm doing this so rigged. Let me turn this off. I don't want to negatively influence you. He wants to get me a hammer. I'm about to get pissed. He doesn't realize how fucking predictable he is and how well I know him. He is so fucking nice when people are watching. He thought the camera was on. That's why he's being fucking nice. So fucking wrong. Gaslight anyone? He just came traipsing down the fucking hallway. Smiling. And he's like, this is my favorite hammer. I'm like, it's not on. And he's like, this is my favorite hammer, so be careful with it. And he's smiling. I said, did you hear me? That's not even on. And he goes, oh, no, whatever. And then walks away. Like, you know what? I might be an asshole. What you see is what you fucking get. I am the same person publicly as I am privately. There aren't any fucking... I have multifaceted sides of my personality. I don't talk like this when I go to a wedding. You know, I can, it's not like putting lipstick on a pig. You can take me out. And I don't always, you know... Once I, once I eventually tell you guys what I used to do for a living in my last career, you'll know, piss yourselves. You know, laugh so hard, tears will run down your leg. But I'm not phony. I'm not phony. 
I'm not voting. That's fine. That's to me that's the same thing as lying. So now I have someone's favorite hammer so that I can pull these nails out. A couple of nails it was in here. Let me get this. There we go. Little tiny finish nails in here. Oh, did I break that? So I want to get this off because you want to be able to screw the drywall that I took out back in, and have something to, to screw to. So I'm going to take a little bit over here. But you can't have lumps and shit under your drywall. So clean corners. This is what I'm talking about. Don't judge me. It's my house. I'm just, I'm just doing whatever I want now. Clean up an aisle hallway. Try well, such a messy fucking job. But that's the shape of it. That, that doesn't look right. Do I do it this way? No. I do it this way? Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Maybe that's it. I think so, because that's about what I cut out. So this, yep, okay. So that goes there. I'm gonna put a screw here and a screw here. And then before I do that, I'm gonna double check, leave this in that same position, and grab this one. <coughs> and that down here. Right. And let's see if this one. All right, and then I'm just gonna tape and uh, mud that, that little hole. I'm not gonna cut a fresh piece for it. Hey, so fucking funny asking you about a rat. It wasn't a fucking rat. I mean, let's not exaggerate, it was a fucking mouse. I think it was a big mouse, because it sounded like it was chewing with some large teeth. Fucking rat, don't go smoke your fucking cigar. And for the record, his fucking mother will be here doing his laundry. Which one has a oh no, okay. There's a nice big piece of meaty wood down there to grab. Uh, hold on. When you do this shit by yourself, sometimes you have to Improvise. <clears throat> now with drywall, you want to recess the screw ever so slightly so you don't have it pop out of the spackle, but don't break the paper. Gotcha. Because if it's not flush, it will never be flush. That I will say never. Mm. I think I missed that by a cunt hair. And by the way, that's actually an industry term.
I gotta go clean my eye out. Hey, TJ. You might want to shut the door. What? You might want to shut the door. Why? Because I can hear you grunting. Oh, it hurts. Re really? The shit cleaned out of my eyes, I think. I think there's still something in there. I can't scratch though, because I got the I just the other one just healed. Come on. Oh, my mama. My fucking arms get tired. Piecing together sucks. Alright. Hold that for now. That's not. That's not this is not gonna fucking hold. I'm gonna have to make a fucking piece and cut it. Fuck you. See, when you cut fucking corners and try to save time and do it fast, you don't save anybody any time. And you cost yourself more time than if you just fucking done it right to begin with. I don't know if I'm talking to you or if I'm lecturing myself. We're just gonna jerry rig it. I thought you were going to smoke your cigar. Yeah. Huh? So one of the things that I love about mixing the mud myself is it's kind of like mortar. If it gets too moist, you can sprinkle some in there and remix it. And if it's too thick, you can add a few drops of water. You want your consistency to be just a little bit thicker than, like, kind of like pancake batter. Uh, it's got to be able to spread, not too thick. I'm just, I'm going to try not to give that any more fucking attention than I've already given it. Like, uh, what the fuck? I can't even, he's nothing, he has never, ever, ever had a single fucking thing to do with any video. He won't even watch one. Not one. But all of a sudden, I'm making one. And, and, and he sees that the messages are coming through and I'm talking with you guys. And I was like, oh, what are you going to get in over there? How could I fucking get in there and wreck that? Let me take a shit in the fucking background. Coming out rubbing his fucking belly. <laughs> and that doesn't want me. Riddle me that. All right, I'm going to tape this quick. Let's take that back. Let me stick this back and knife behind a painting. I'm going to tape a knife. All right. These strings, they have to come off. You can't have that shit. It'll just keep coming out of the... The back of the mud. I, I replaced all the gnarly pieces. <clears throat> I know I'm hacking it, but I'm not gonna hack it that bad. Let this be, this is the appropriate proper way to fix and patch a ceiling when you've ended a relationship with somebody and you're moving out in like two weeks. This isn't the work you do for a client. <laughs> I got my tape off right here. So the mesh is gonna help close the gaps. Mix this. I'm going to push a little through the mesh where you have like the spaces and the gaps. And you use the taping knife to make the, the tape nice and flat. No humps, no bumps. I'm make some more mud. Okay, this batch is much better. Oh, yeah. So, oh, I hear the chickens. Do you hear them? They're yelling. I think it's time for them to come in. It's getting late. It's getting dark early. <sighs> so I want to, someone was telling me, put like a
you're not going to fill it all in one shot. Um, you'll have issues with it drying. So I'm going to do one coat. And one good thing about the stuff that you mix yourself, it dries faster. You can always do multiple layers. Do a thin skim coat, light sanding, and then when it's, when, after it's dry, you sand it. I told you I was bad at this. Okay. There we go. And I have to stop doing these short fucking passes. You gotta just go across. Go across. All right. This is why I'm really good at sanding. Because I have so much to fix. And I'm a fantastic sander. For these, I could really use a much smaller. But there's so many of them near each other. And I don't even care that this mud is getting shitty. Because these are literally pellet holes. So. Trying to think of a Ray Charles song I can sing right now because it obviously looks like he's the one that's been mudding again. But the sanding, that's where my talent lies. I have to be, I learned how to be talented at sanding to learn to fix my fuck ups. I gotta mix more mud. This isn't working. Okay, so while this is drying, um, I guess I'll wind up uh, much better. Oh, yeah. See, you know that? That's something I can put my name on. And it came out, I think I had chickens. It's about time for chickens to come in. So, um, hi Taylor. Hi Coco Pop. Where's the hatty chickens? Burp, 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 burp. Come on, pretty girl. They just they know where they're going. They're going to their bedroom, which has no paper on the fucking floor. Oh, hi, you can come see me. Come here, Taylor. Oh, your eye looks so bad. I think um, Taylor, Taylor has lymphoma. Come here, my baby. Oh, yes, Mama missed you. You giving me kisses? Hi. How are you? Chewy said they shipped your medicine. Okay, go in your room. Go. Oh, 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 easy, easy. There's no rug. Shit. Hey, Cocoa Puff. I don't know if you guys have met Cocoa Puff. She's a silky. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Ah, come here, come here. Okay, okay. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I know. I have to move the gate for you. Miss Cocoa Puff. She's very vocal. I have to cut the hair around your eyes again. I love you. Okay, go in your room. I was going to clean up while that's dry, but I'm not even going to bother because once I start sanding, it's just going to make a mess again, but I might sweep some of it up. 